What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to work on the skidoo, get it back together now that we have parts in, and uh, we'll see how far we can get tonight before I transition over into tomorrow. But that will all be in the same video. So, hope you guys enjoy this. I will show you the parts that we have, what we're going to do to install them, and uh, hopefully we'll have an intact stumble wheel when we're done here. Okay, we got the old sled right here. Now if you missed my last video on the teardown and you didn't know how to do any of this, go check it out. I'll put a link above. Um, but what happened was I hit a tree, hit a tree really hard, bent my bumper in, destroyed my plastics, all that kind of stuff. While I was here, I've gone ahead and I have uh, changed my exhaust gaskets out and done a little cleanup on this, got, got everything straight again. Uh, it wasn't really too bent up, but a little bit. So got it fixed up and ready to go. Been doing a little bit of maintenance items here. I also cleaned my exhaust valves. Um, so I got a video on that too. But what we're looking at here, is our new nose cone, bottom pan, upper pan plastic, and then of course we have our brand spanking new Skins Rasmussen front bumper. So uh, this is what saved my life last time, so I'm gonna do it again. But <clears throat> what we need to do here today is we need to separate these two pieces. This just pops off like that, and we're going to install this bottom pan. Before we do so, I need to add the little uh, vibration dampener slash um, sound dampener pieces and then this will go on like so using those holes and some 3 16 black rivets from Skidoo. So uh, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and put our uh, little, I don't know what you want to call them, sound dampeners. We're going to call them sound dampeners because I think that's what they were, the purpose of these are, is to kind of keep everything from vibrating and sounding kind of uh, cheap, you know? So anyway, there they are. Let's go ahead and uh, put these on. I'm going to use some 3M adhesive and spray this, spray those pieces and attach them. Okay, we got our Super 77. What we're going to do, just spray a little bit there, spray a little bit on this and go ahead and put it back on. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this uh, Super 77, basically what it is, it's just an all-purpose adhesive. It's basically carpet adhesive. So um, use it on headliners, all kinds of stuff. But what I've learned over the years is I have mainly used this on, a, on gaskets actually. So you spray a gasket surface, you spray a gasket, you wait a couple seconds, throw it on, and then you're good to go. I've used this for over 10 years and never had a problem with any sealing problems or anything like that. But worked handy, really handy, for those foam pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other piece later on so that it's ready to go to. All right, now that being said, I will throw a link below as to where you can get this and really any of the tools that I'm using in this video. Okay, now to install our uh, bottom pan, we've gotta have these rivets. These are specific Skidoo rivets. So they're black so that we maintain that black look. And I've just got a cheap arrow um, handheld rivet tool. I don't, I've never had a pneumatic rivet gun. I wish I had one or even the new like Milwaukee cordless rivet guns, but uh, this should do the trick, no problem. So let's go ahead and let's install our bottom pan. Boom baby, we've got our bottom pan on and everything fit perfectly. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install the bumper next. Now, if you guys watched my last video, you know that I got a bolt that's a little bit bent, but I'm not really too worried about it. We're gonna run it anyway. I need to replace it. I'll, I can get back in there and do it later. But here is our brand new bumper. This is the Skins Rasmussen um, front bumper for the XM chassis. Now, this is the best bumper that Skins makes for this sled, um, and I'm super pumped to be running it again. Uh, now, here's the instructions. Um, we don't need them, because we're men. We don't need instructions, but I will show you how to install this. So, here's the hardware that come with it. Couple rivets, 
couple bolts, a couple washers, that kind of stuff. Pretty easy install. So uh, let me show you how to do it. All right, first thing we're gonna do, slide it in here, and get it lined up with our holes on our sled. Okay, I got my bolts installed. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my bumper at its um, uh, outermost position. So it's not all the way in, it is all the way out before I tighten them up. Well, that sucks. I just broke my dang bolt here. And what do you know we do have a new bolt? We're prepared for this kind of stuff. Okay, now we've got our bumper installed just using those two um, bolts there. Now what we're gonna do here is the bumper's sitting in its kind of natural position right now. And underneath here, if you can see, maybe, there we go. You can see those holes. We're gonna go ahead and start drilling those holes. I'm gonna start with the top um, hole on each side of the actual bumper. And what's that? what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a place to put my backing plate. Now my backing plate is this guy right here. And this is what kind of reinforces the whole, um, oh, what do you call it? The whole bottom um, arms to the actual bottom pan. So by drilling those two holes, I can go ahead and put my bolts in and set it up and then I can go back and um, finish drilling my other holes and basically set this thing. Okay, I'm gonna be using a quarter inch drill bit and drilling up through the bottom pan. Just like so. Okay, so now you can see where my holes have been drilled and that's where that support bracket is going to be installed and will kind of uh, help support the whole um, bumper assembly onto the bottom pan. So it should look something like, if I can get it lined up, like that right there. So um, pretty much got it all set up where we want it. And uh, now we just need to go ahead and fasten this baby down. Okay, the backer plate is installed. Everything is tight underneath the uh, actual nose cone. So now what we're gonna do is come back up here. We're gonna drill two 3 16 holes here um, and then fasten that using the rivets that were supplied. That's just to kind of brace this uh, support piece so that it doesn't, um, that it, so it's part of the nose cone without it being part of the bumper, if that makes sense. So. Um, Gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, that will complete the install for the bumper. Okay, that's gonna be it for the bumper install. I am opting out of using these holes that are in the uh, bottom pan that I can fasten to this. I don't see a need to fasten this piece to the bumper at all. Previously it was, and it actually shows in the skins, um, in the skins instructions that that bumper's fastened, although it doesn't tell you to do that. So it's kind of an interesting thing there. Now I could go ahead and drill that out and fasten it, but I feel like it's not even, it's not worth it. Like, I don't, I don't see the point in doing it. It doesn't do anything for the plastics. It doesn't do anything for the bumper. So we're gonna opt out of that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's installed. 
It's a very simple install and it is solid as a rock. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's been a while since I've worked on the KTM. I got plans to work on it here very, very soon. I want to get a rolling chassis done here in the next couple weeks. So, that being said, stay tuned for some new videos. Um, looks like we're not going to get any snow for the next two weeks or so. If we do, I'm going to hit it hard, but until then, uh, she's ready to rip. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. You guys are the best. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a like, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.